All right, here's a, a strange review. Uh, and I'm only doing this because uh, it kind of piqued my interest as far as, uh, well, I, I bought this water jug. It's the Thermos 64 ounce hydration flask. These are all 64 ounces. I bought this first. And uh, I've used a lot of jugs in my lifetime, but this here has just amazed me at how long it keeps uh, ice water ice uh, and water. So I thought to myself, I, I wonder if there are others that are the same in the same price range that will do as good. At the time I bought this, this was less than $20 shipped to my door. They've gone up significantly since I've ordered this, and it's only been a couple months. They went from $20 to, uh, I think, $55. And uh, i tell you what, knowing what I know about this now, I would still buy this at $55. But I bought this for less than $20, or right at $20 shipped, and I bought this for like, I don't know, $12 or $13. This is an igloo. This is an Under Armour branded, but it's made by Thermos, made and sold by Thermos. I kind of suspect that they might be doing away with this to sell this. I may be wrong, but I got this on Amazon for 20 bucks, and when I went back, I included a link. I wrote a little review uh, about this for the survivalistblog.net, and uh, I included a link to it. And uh, somebody in the comment section said, uh, hey, it's gone from 20 bucks." to, uh, I think it was $54.99 or something like that. Just an insane, uh, uh, an insane increase. And then later on in the comments, somebody said that they have other colors. There's blue and pink that were significantly less. So I'm not sure. I'll have to check that out. But today what I've done is I've got all three of these filled. I filled all of them up with ice, all three of them to the top with ice, as much ice as you could get in there. And then from my tap, I filled all three of them with water to the top. And these are coming out with me. It's, uh, well, I filled them up at 6.30. It's 6.45 right now. I'm fixing to put my shoes on and get my day started. And it's going to be a very hot day. These are all going to be exposed to the sun uh, in within, you know, this kind of proximity to each other. So there's not going to be one with an advantage over another. We'll see. Uh, at the end of the day, we'll have a look. We'll, uh drain the water out of each of these and see just how much ice is left in them. Uh, I'm probably going to be drinking off of this, but if I drink off of this, I'm going to drink off these other two. I'm going to try to drink the same amount from the other two as well. So uh, we'll see at the end of the day. We'll see how, uh, how well these do. And I just cut two more trees down. I've got my come along here. I'm dragging a tree out of the woods there. It's about two foot around where I'm at now. I've cut it in half and there's some of it and some of it's on the fire over there. But uh, let's see, it's been exactly four hours since I filled these up. And uh, this one is uh, got moisture on the top. So there's no insulation. This one is not moist on the top no condensation that's what i mean it's condensation on the top and this one it's only been four hours and the ice is nearly melted out of it and i drank off all three of these uh pretty much the same so far i'm liking this i, I like the top that i like that better uh this is same premise but uh what i don't like is this metal thing clips over that and if you've got gloves on it's really hard to get a finger behind that this there's plenty of room behind that it's got a little lip on it right here on the outside edge of that so it's really easy to get a hold of this seems to be a better plus I just realized something it's it's thicker it's wider this way so it, and, and it's identical in size on the inside they're both 64 ounce, they're both the same height, uh, and they're both the same width on the inside. So this absolutely, without a doubt, has more insulation. And uh, we'll see at the end of the day, about another four hours. That, uh, it's, uh, I'm pretty sure it's not insulated, it's just a vacuum space between the inner and the outer jug. Uh, it's uh, 
Yeah, it's really, it's just got a few more ice cubes left in it, and it's only been four hours. And I haven't actually been exposed to the sun out here. I'm in the shade. So uh, we'll see you in four more hours. You guys just ate. It's not tr time for a snack. It is not time for a snack. Uh, it's uh, 430. These have been out, filled up, in use, exposed to the heat. It's uh, 101 right now with a heat index of uh, uh, 117 or 118. So uh, these have been exposed to what I would call extreme use type heat for 10 hours. What I'm going to do is drain all the water out of all of these and leave the ice in them and we'll look down in there and see which one has the most ice left in it. To me that's a pretty good uh, indication of which one has the best insulation. I really really have any doubts that there's even any ice left in this one but we'll see. All right I'm going to turn this off, pull the lids off, drain all the water out of them and then we'll look down inside and see how much ice they have left. Well, here's a surprise. This had absolutely no ice left in it whatsoever. None. This has... Oh, how can I show you? It's got... It's got that plus a few more crumbs about that size. So, not bad, not bad. This was like eight or nine bucks. This was uh, 20. Uh, I'm kind of disappointed in that. It's supposed to be, you know, the space age, the newest and the best. Wait till you see the next one. You ready for this? I, I am, I am 100% sold on this. The price has gone up on it significantly. But, uh, I tell you, I would buy it again. Especially knowing that these two, uh, you know, don't even come anywhere near close to that. So uh, this is the Thermos 64-ounce hydration flask. I got it on Amazon. And this is Under Armour. But it's made, it's got a Thermos. Yeah, I'll have to brush some of that off. It's made by Thermos. Uh, also 64-ounce. This is an Igloo. Uh... 64 ounce and uh, well that's good to know that's the one right there that's the chit I'll tell you that uh, yep I'm glad I bought it so uh, these will be my standby ones that what I'll do probably since uh, I drink so much water out there my god from 6 30 a.m. Uh, till now it's just you know water pouring out of my body I'll tell you what my sweat glands are getting to work out and uh, what I'll do is I'll just use these to pour water into this when I drink all this water. So, uh, yeah, I drank about a gallon and a quart today. That's a lot of water. And I'm almost done out there. I'm so close I can taste it. Thanks for watching. Oh, yeah. Uh, the very last clip you're going to see is, is some footage I took in Walmart. Uh, I shouldn't have took footage of people who didn't know they were being filmed and I normally don't uh, when I am going to record people I always ask beforehand except this one time the next clip you're going to see and I only did it because I am uh, bewildered as to what has become of our world and where the men have gone this guy uh, looked to be in his middle to late 40s and uh, you'll see the clip and instead of pushing the buggy he was letting this very old lady push the buggy the shopping cart and uh, kind of barking at her, at her telling her what to get and uh, <laughs> it just blew my mind uh, because moments before I had seen a little boy 11 or 12 years old with a baseball cap on or a trucker's hat and on the hat, it said, keep it between the bitches. You know, it's kind of trucker lingo. Keep it between the ditches is uh, sort of like a, a salutation. And uh, the hat said, keep it between the bitches, and, which wouldn't be so bad. But he was with uh, his mother, I, I assume, who had the, uh, the Pentecostal gear on. Uh, I'm a Christian, but... Uh, there are 
different sects, S-E-C-T-S, -E sects, that's hard to say without saying sex, <laughs> uh, who uh, believe that in order to be closer to God, you've got to wear a specific uniform like magic underwear, or in the case of Pentecostals, it's uh, a denim dress and the women have to have long hair. And there are other religious, you know, people that think you have to have a beard and and uh, so on and so forth. Me, I just believe in Jesus. Jesus is my Savior. And that's, uh, you know, he doesn't require me to wear special clothing or grow my hair in a certain way or wear a denim dress. So I knew his mother was a Pentecostal just because she was wearing the typical Pentecostal garb. And uh, for a little boy to be wearing a hat that said, keep it between the bitches, it just struck me as... Uh, you know, a symbol of what the world has become and turning into. And then in this clip you're going to see is just, to me, it's the epitome of what the world is like now. Okay, I'm sorry to have uh, taken so much of your time rambling. Uh, it just really struck me as like the light went off on my head, uh, in my head about what's wrong with the world. And it's basically this entire generation of people who don't think uh, of anyone but their own selves. The next clip is a perfect example. Thanks for watching. Working and he's got a lot of great information. It's truly outrageous. If they didn't have their tower, they wouldn't have internet. Amanda, you're right. You can get stuff on Craigslist. Yeah, be careful. Um, let me see. Any final? We're gonna round it out real quick here in just a few minutes because we have a new channel coming on tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, baby, keep our ball in. From behind. Ethan, Pay no um, attention to that dog. Get sorry, Drew. What the heck is that? It's like some kind of ancient artifact. I seem to recall seeing one of these in my youth. I don't remember what their purpose was. But we'll hang on to it. Maybe it's valuable.